You're listening to Ujima 98 FM, the heart of Bristol. Keep on, keep on moving. Uh, we're actually going to do this one, this one live because it's one that we love to perform, and I don't, I don't need to say what the lyrics are because uh, Natalie's diction is, uh, is is very, very, very good indeed, and it's called "Nobody Knows You When You're Down and Out." Rather a nasty end, didn't she, Dave? What, what actually um, yes, happened? Yes, I'm afraid she did, Paul. Had a, a very tragic and and un, untimely death. She had started to restyle herself as a swing musician and was on the verge of a comeback when her life was tragically cut short by a, 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 an automobile accident in 1937. Now, she was driving with her then lover, uh, a, a guy called Richard Morgan. Apparently, she was in Mississippi and she was driving to the commencement of a of a southern tour and the car crashed into a slow moving truck and it rolled over crushing her left arm and ribs and she bled to death by the time she reached the hospital. Now there are a number of unverified or hard to verify or hard to clarify stories surrounding her death. Now it was suggested that she bled to death because she'd been taken to a white hospital and been turned away. Now that I, I that you know, may have been the case. However, a much respected biographer uh, points out that the level of racism was such that it would be at that time inconceivable that anyone would have done that because to do so would have virtually condemned her to death in any event because of the level of racism they knew that she wouldn't be treated. But what we've got here, haven't we, is a level of racism that you have to have segregation in terms of sure. black and white sure. hospitals Absolutely. And, I, and I'm sure that at that time you would have found that the care in black hospitals was not as good possibly as the care in, or the resources let's say I'm sure the care by people who uh, worked there was fantastic but I'm sure the resources that were given to the black hospital was perhaps mm. not as good as the white hospital without the possibly. slightest no well I not, not possibly I would say without the slightest mm. shadow of doubt and Indicative of the madness of, of, of the segregated system is the, the next thing that I'm going to say is that a, a second car carrying a, a, a white doctor crashed into the original crash scene. The doctor was unhurt uh, and a number of people needed urgent attention on the roadside, some white, some not. Now it's not clear who was the most seriously injured. Mm -hmm. Bessie Smith was bleeding to death. Who got, who got treated first and on and on and on what grounds. And the other thing is that uh, both a black and a white ambulance was in attendance at the scene. 
And I've just said, Diana, what am I thinking? What am I talking about? One accident, two ambulances? Uh, what? what what's, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> what, 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 what kind of yeah. madness, madness, you know, is yeah. this that we're, yeah. that, 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 that we, we're talking about? We have to look further than that as well, because, uh, and I think Mr Stats might come in here about um, uh, Mr Drew, who actually... Uh, developed the blood banks and lost his job. Is that not right, Mr Stats? What happened about that? That's right. Well, this was um, a pioneer of blood transfusion who um, campaigned against the nonsense that you had to separate, as it were, blight, white blood and blood from African Caribbeans. <sighs> he said, medically, the blood is exactly, exactly um, the same. And he was, as I say, a pioneer in the establishment of blood banks. He was responsible for organising the delivery of blood supplies um, to British troops in the uh, in the Second World War. Um, an extremely, uh, extremely distinguished man. Okay, well, thank you, Mr. Stats. I mean, that's a, an amazing story. Uh, it's so impressive that. Uh, somebody can make that statement do that research and 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 make those changes so you know just a a, a, a moment's respect for for, for for what 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 he achieved there we were talking about the uh, the 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 death of bessie smith and i'm i know i'm on radio but right now uh, i i'm looking at a at a at a, at a tombstone um because Bessie Smith, nobody knows you when you're down and out, and she died quite suddenly, so the, there wasn't the money to, to, to make a stone, but there's a stone that's there now by a grow side, and it says the greatest blues singer in the world will never stop singing, Bessie Smith. Um, and that was, that was put there by uh, Janis Joplin, who herself, of course, died mm, tragically, tragically. And, 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 and far too young. Mm. And in a song by a, a, a wonderful singer called Dory Previn, who, who at the time she sang the song was the wife of the famous musical um, conductor and, 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 and musician Andre Previn, um, she wrote a song in which uh, 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 the lines uh, she bought a stone for Bessie Smith, she bought Bessie Smith a stone, she bought a stone for Bessie Smith but she forgot that she hadn't paid for her own because of course she died um, very early herself. Um, so really to to conclude about both uh, Bessie Smith and Ma Rainey, Bessie Smith the Empress of the Blues, Ma Rainey the Mother of the Blues, fantastically Brave women, uh, uh, amazing fighters in the in, in in their own right, producing popular culture um, in ways that that, that that no one that that no one had before, and the idea, therefore, you know, that they were simply victims. You know, yes, they were victims, but they resisted, they fought back, they produced popular culture, um, and. You know, this presentation is by way of a, of, of a little tribute to them, and I think it would be good to move on to Billie Holiday uh, quite soon. Yeah. Uh,